Hi, welcome to my new class. This video is going to be on adding texture to your illustrations in Affinity Designer. And the way that we're going to be adding in some simple, easy texture is by using brushes. So this is the one place that I have been able to find brushes specifically for Affinity Designer. So gumroad.com slash ren and I'll leave a link below. If you go to this website there is a sample pack and it has enough brushes to get started and you can get the feel of them and if you like them he has three sets that you can buy. So drawing, painting, or drawing and painting. So all you need to do is click on it and because I already have it, it's not going to show it, but you need to put in like your email address and then because it says zero plus, just type in zero for the price unless you want to give him money um, and then pay and it will let you download the file. So this is one of the few places that I've been able to find brushes. I even looked on Creative Market. You may be able to look and find them, maybe I'm not typing in something correctly, um, but I wasn't able to find them. Hopefully in the future somebody will start creating them. Um, they are worthwhile signing up for if you're not already a member of Creative Market. I've gotten a lot of really, really great stuff from there. Every Monday they have six new free items, I mean fonts, illustration patterns, I've seen templates for um, websites, things like that. So it is worth creating an account with them. And I've tried using brushes like this from Illustrator and Affinity Designer and I wasn't able to get it to work correctly. Um, I'm going to minimize this for just a second. And when you download, this is the sample pack from that web, that first website, it's going to be in a zipped folder. All you need to do is unzip it and it will come with instructions, license information, and the files that you actually need to get started. So we'll go ahead and open Affinity Designer and create a document any size that you would like. Okay, so once you have your document open, you can go ahead and create whatever design that you would like. I'm going to create a simple little monster for this. Okay, once you have a good start to your illustration, if you go to your brushes panel, which is three over from color, um, I already have the sample brushes in, but when you first open it, I think it's on assorted. If you go to the drop down menu on the top right, go to import brushes and find your brush set and then you can select them and open. Since I already have it, um, I will select the sample set. And as you can see, they are all loaded. All you need to do is select the part of your illustration that you would like to add the texture to. I'm going to select the body of the monster and you can go through Okay, so if the stroke is not the same color as your illustration, all you need to do is go to your color, select your eyedropper, select the same color as the part of the illustration that you're adding the texture to, select your stroke, and then change it to the color. But back in brushes, I would just go through and click until you find the one 
that looks the best on your illustration or that you like the most. I think for now I'm going to stick with the Picasso brush and another thing if you are not sure about the brush go into your stroke panel which is directly to the left of brushes and change the width. You may like it more if you decrease or increase the size and I would suggest not adding the texture to every single element of your illustration because it can become a bit much and it's hard um, on the program itself. Um, I've had issues in Illustrator where it gets really sluggish. I haven't had that issue in Illustrator yet but if you start adding in a lot of the textures it can really slow things down. So another thing I like to do with the brushes I like to go in select your vector brush tool and I like to go in and add in Some details to the back so you can play with it a lot as you can see um, and I like to go into the ones that are in the background anyways and decrease the opacity so that it blends in a little more So I'm going to delete these and try again. So I mean, you really can go through and add a lot if you really, really like it. I mean, it does add something to do in the background so you're not just looking at the monster. So I hope to see you in the next class. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and you can always follow me on any of my social media. Bye!